Hey everyone, this is Captain Panel P. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda 1. In the last episode, we started, well, we completed level 4, got all the heart containers we can, and got a magical sword, and also a power bar. So we'll show how it's. Well, actually, we did show how it was used, but whatever. Let's just keep going here. And did I ever get that arrow? Yes, I did! Yes! Now we can kill these things without too much problems. Paul's voices definitely get those use the um arrows for those guys. They'll die in one hit mostly anyway. All right, so we need to actually we probably should came with more rupees though, but uh, we'll see how much I get. All right, so here we go. We'll see what happens here, I guess. I need some rupees. Dig Dugger hates certain kinds of sound. Alright. Interesting clue, but I guess that is kind of the boss we are going to be facing. And I kind of wish I came with more rupees. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. If I. If I don't have enough, I'll... Oh, gosh. And I don't have the bombs... To, well, I could. Um... This is a problem. That is a problem. Um... I actually am going to go and get 100 rupees. Because I need it for kind of a... Um, need it for for a bomb upgrade. So I will re actually re return to level five in just a moment. All right, we're back. I finally got enough rupees that I wanted. So let's just go ahead and light this candle. Now we have infinite power here, but we're going to actually take a left turn here. Blow a hole there. There we go. Yeah, alright. This is now, this is initially where I wanted to go, but couldn't do it. That's a locked door from another area, so we can't... I'll probably show it to you after defeating those Dodongos, you know, at some point, but... Oh, yes, more of these dark nuts. Oh, don't... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, okay, all right, I see how this is going to be. Blue ones are somewhat irritating if you don't have the mag magical sword. I mean, if you don't have the magical sword with the blue ones, you're in for a lot of hurt. <laughs> I mean, sir, I'm not kidding. I honestly wish I was kidding about that, but I'm not. Alright, so here we go. Ah, I can get you. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Alright, so we're gonna go to the left here first. And look what we got here. More dark nuts. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, you think you're, we're done seeing them? Nope. We'll be seeing them later. But these are the ones that are tricky. I'm the worst. Absolute lust. The blue dark nut. Man, I wish you were in this generous in a second quest, because I know I for sure when I need you in a second quest. Alright, so here is the magical whistle or the recorder. Level 5 item. 
right, so let's go ahead and head on out of here. But we're not done with this area yet. Nope, nothing there. Alright, so we're pretty much isolated from the rest of the area. Alright, so down here. Let's see what's down here. Probably want to get off my bomb so I'm not wasting any. Alright, so now I'm needing them again. There we go. Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright. So this is one of two areas in this first quest where you can actually get a bomb, bomb capacity upgrade. So I would take that and just be done with it. Alright, so we're now up to 12. And the next upgrade won't come until when we get to level 7. So we still got a while before that ever happens. Alright, so let's get out of here. We're done with this. Now we can go straight to the bows. And, oh god, these guys are back. Nice. Well, lucky for me, lucky for you guys, I'm gonna actually take you guys on. Whoa. Since I have the magical sword and... Because normally, if you were... I mean, a long time ago, if I were playing this, I would have had only the white sword playing this. No, 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 no. Thank you. What do you think guys been doing to the fairies? I mean, jeez. You guys been carrying a lot of hookers or something like that? I mean, seriously? Oh my god. Rapists. Ugh, whatever. Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> I seriously don't. I'm probably getting a lot of trouble for it. I don't care. Jeez. Oh man, considering what happened to me a long time ago, I probably shouldn't make fun of it. Oh my god. All right, so here are the Dodongos. We'll try and take him on if I can successfully do it. Alright, one down. There we go. Oh, I killed the other, hurt the other one by accident. Ow, oh, fudge. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. Alright, more bombs, not bad. Alright, let's see what's over here. Nothing real important. Oh, it's probably just a locked door in general. Actually, no, but that will take us back through a locked door, so there's really no point going down there. Alright, so let's go up instead. So what's over here? Nothing. We can't get past that. So, but we're, there's a lot of dark rooms ahead. See, so this is not the only one you'll see. All right, more of these guys here. Definitely, these are definitely rupee producers. Like rope from level two. Wow. And these guys take only two hits. But imagine if you had the other sword. That'll take more hits. And so I think only only the, that I know of NCS has done a you know sword one run, and I think he also has done a no sword run if I'm not mistaken. And you can do that. It's totally up to you. All right, so let's get going here. And another dark nut. Go figure. Alright, so above of there was the area where we were just at, you know, getting those bonuses, so... Yeah, you got me with 
that's all it's to it. And having a map is definitely your best friend in this. Ow. They're quite powerful, too, if you hadn't noticed. Alright, so let's go in here. I must say, though, that listening to this dungeon music is really never gets old. I mean, never. In fact, it's probably one of the best dungeon mix dungeon music there is. It's the original. Alright, this is over here. I'm actually going to get my bow and arrow. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're right at the boss, but I'm actually going to avoid him because I want to go down here. And get these guys out of the way. Yeah, no, I know. You want to be. F You're saying, fight me, fight me. Paladin, fight me. No, I won't. Not yet, anyway. Alright, now I will. Haha. <laughs> Like John Wayne said, I'm not gonna hit you, I'm not gonna ch hit you. Oh, hell I will. <laughs> oh, hell I will. Alright, so here we go. Now, this guy will shrink to a smaller one. You can stop him with your boomerang. But two hits with a magical sword. Two hits with a magical sword. And you're done. See? Just like that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that is all I am going to do in this episode. We already at 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start our truck to level 6, but we're going to go actually go back to the main area before we actually do something actually, because I'm going to return to the point of origin. And in case anyone was wondering, I am recording this off of an emulator. I have the game on the... Um, collector's edition of the NES, but but yeah, I, I, I do have this game. I do personally own this game. I mean, jeez. Why wouldn't I own this game? Classic, classic. You got to own it. It's too bad I don't have the NES version anymore, but I do have the GameCube one, but it works just as well in my personal book. Alright, so yeah, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda 1, we will continue on to level 6. We're going to actually take a different route to there, because I'll show you a different route going there. So, I have been Captain Panel P. Leave a like, also subscribe. Check out the playlist section of my YouTube channel. And all Let's Plays between my, me and my bro Hammer. It's all there. And see you guys next time. After I return to my point of origin here. All right, over here, and I'll get over here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Laters.